Hello and welcome to an introductory video about Amazon Simple Email Service, also known as Amazon SES. My name is Pablo Ciano Catidis and I'm a specialty solutions architect focusing on Amazon SES and Amazon Pinpoint. Amazon SES is a cloud email service provider that can integrate into any application for bulk email sending. Whether you send transactional or marketing emails, you pay only for what you use. Amazon SES also supports a variety of deployments including shared, dedicated or owned IP addresses. It reports on sender statistics while offering a deliverability dashboard that helps businesses make every email count. In today's video we will focus on how to get started with SES and what are the steps required to send your first email. So let's get started. In this slide we are going to go through six of the key steps that you need to take in order to start sending emails to your customers using SES. The first one is to identify the right AWS region. SES is currently available in 21 AWS regions for email sending and in three AWS regions for email receiving. The three AWS regions for email receiving are US East 1, US West 2 and EU West 1. When choosing the AWS region for SES, you should take into consideration the following. Does your use case only involve sending emails or are you planning to also receive? Do you have any data residency requirements? And lastly, in which AWS region is your application currently hosted? The second step is verifying and authenticating your sending identities. A verified identity refers to a domain or email address. In most cases, creating a domain eliminates the need for creating and verifying individual email addresses. Parts of creating a domain identity is configuring its domain keys identified mail, also known as DKM. DKM is an email authentication method that SES uses to verify domain ownership while receiving mail servers use it to validate email authenticity. After you've created your domain identity and configured with DKM, you must complete the verification process with your DNS provider. If you have selected Easy DKM, you simply need to copy the three CNAME records from the SES console and add them to your DNS provider. Note that detection of these records may take up to 72 hours. If you are using Route 53 on the same AWS account and the domain is registered there, SES automatically updates the DNS settings for your domain if you have enabled SES to publish them at the time of creation. For higher deliverability, it is recommended to authenticate your emails using Sender Policy Framework, also known as SPF, and comply with domain-based message authentication, reporting and conformance also known as DMARC. SPF is an email validation standard that is designed to prevent email spoofing. DMARC uses SPF and DKM to detect email spoofing and in order to comply with DMARC, emails must be authenticated through either SPF or DKM or both. The third step is to choose the type of IPs that you will send emails from. When creating a new SES account, by default, your emails are sent from IP addresses that are shared with other SES users. You can also use dedicated IP addresses that are reserved for your exclusive use by leasing them for an additional cost. This gives you complete control over your sender reputation and enables you to isolate your reputation for different segments within email programs. SES offers two ways to provision and manage dedicated IP addresses. The first one is using standard IP addresses. Standard IP addresses refer to dedicated IP addresses that you manually set up and manage, including the option to manually warm them up and scale them out and to manually move them in and out of IP pools. The second option is using managed IP addresses. Managed IP addresses refer to dedicated IP addresses that are automatically set up on your behalf by SES to provide a quick and easy way to start using dedicated IP addresses. These IPs automatically warm up for each ISP individually and auto-scale based on your sending volume. This helps ensure that your dedicated IP addresses are used optimally based on how you send emails. 
Choosing the right type of IPs depends on the type, volume and patterns of emails that you send. The fourth step is about monitoring. SES currently tracks 10 email events and offers five different monitoring methods with these being SES Console, SES API, Amazon CloudWatch Console, feedback notifications and event publishing. These monitoring methods assist you in keeping track of important measures such as your account's bounce, complaint and reject rates. Excessively high bounce and complaint rates may jeopardize your ability to send emails using SES. These methods can also be used to measure the rates at which your customers engage with the emails you send by helping you to identify your overall open click-through rates. Because your bounce and complaint rates are so important to the health of your account, SES includes a reputation metrics page in the SES console that you can use to track these metrics. Reputation metrics can also display information about factors unrelated to bounces or complaints that could damage your sender reputation. For example, if you send email to a known spam trap, you will see a message on this dashboard. In the fifth step, you choose the way you want to send emails. With SES, you can send emails via REST API, SDK which is available in 8 programming languages or via SMTP. It's worth noting that you can send and receive emails containing attachments. The default size limit for both sending and receiving for SES API version 2 is 40 megabytes. Once all the above steps are completed, you will need to move out of Amazon SES Sandbox. By default, your SES account is placed in Amazon SES Sandbox and this is done to help prevent fraud and abuse and to help protect your reputation as a sender. The restrictions applied include sending emails to only verified email addresses or domains, send up to 200 emails per 24 hours and send a maximum of one email per second. You can request to move your account out of the SES sandbox by the AWS Management Console or programmatically by the AWS command line interface. Please note that in order to prevent our systems from being used to send unsolicited or malicious content, we have to consider its request carefully. If we are able to do so, we'll grant your request within this 24-hour period. However, if we need to obtain additional information from you, it might take longer to resolve your request. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can find more information about Amazon CS by visiting us at aws.amazon.com forward slash SES.